Hey Techno Studs, and when I say studs, I mean both students and you are awesome. Thanks for joining me in these videos. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at binary numbers. We're actually gonna take an in-depth look into it and get a great understanding of how binary numbers work. Now, the reason for that is because computers work off of binary. They work off of ones and zeros. Now, essentially what a computer is, is a bunch of little tiny switches. And those switches can be either on or off, one or zero. Those are the only two real options there are. And depending on how we calculate and how we process that information, you're gonna get a different set of binary numbers on the other side. But what does that look like? Well, let's take a look at binary numbers and then we are going, in future modules going to apply that to IP addresses. And it's gonna give you a great understanding, a great basis for understanding those IP addresses and what those IP addresses look like. So let's jump into binary numbers and learn about binary numbers. In this module, we're gonna start out by talking about computers and how computers work. Now, computers are really fascinating and interesting. And by understanding a little bit of how they process information, then we can understand more why we use binary numbers, why we use ones and zeros through the process. We're not gonna take an in-depth look, but we're gonna just start out by taking a look at how computers work. Then we're gonna get into numbering systems. One good way to understand binary numbers is to look at what we do know. Binary numbers are very different than what something that you're probably used to. And so if we relate that to some other numbering systems, it will help us better understand binary numbers. Then we're gonna jump into looking more in depth into binary numbers and what those look like. We're gonna take a look at counting in binary and how do we actually like what comes next through the binary numbers and we're going to really use that a lot throughout this course. We're going to take a look at adding binary numbers which is not as critical. It's not like you're going to be adding a lot of binary numbers but once again if we uh, continue to take and look at binary numbers from all sorts of angles and really understand binary numbers it's going to help you succeed in the future. So we're going to also take a look at how to translate from binary to decimal. We're going to learn how to go from decimal to binary and then I'm going to talk a little bit about checking your work so that way you can go through lots of different practices and practice all you know handling these binary numbers and what goes into these binary numbers and finally we're just going to take a just a brief mention about hexadecimal and take a look at what hexadecimal is I have a whole module on that so we're not going to go real in depth into that but this is the layout of uh, this module and what we're going to get into